How's it going? Ah, ah, happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. <laughs> um, okay, so if anybody la <laughs> If anybody watched my last video, um, I sort of had a more, you know, not as enthusiastic demeanor, and I do want to apologize about that. Um, it's been a really rough week on my family. My grandpa has been pretty sick and in the hospital, and um, it's just, it was really rough and really hard, um, and he is getting better now, which is great, um, and makes me feel better, so. In better mood so I thought that we would make some flourless double chocolate chip cookies chocolate cookies with chocolate chips because you know your girl loves chocolate <laughs> it's pretty straightforward I am working with some ingredients that I've not worked with before so I'm pretty excited about that and I was um, prefaced with the fact of knowing that it would be a really thick dough so that helps me plan a little bit to know <laughs> sort of what I'm looking for when it comes to consistency because a lot of times the recipes don't really tell you that oh it's gonna be really thin it's gonna be really like airy or really dense or whatever no this one straight up said will be thick dough and you know so I feel confident ish going into making this okay so yeah all right Let's get started. Okay, first thing we need is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees, which I have already done. I also lined my baking sheet with a silicone baking mat because I have one now and I feel like I have to use it every time I bake. <laughs> um, and then we're going to get out a mixing bowl, mixing bowl, and a handheld mixer. This funny little thing and um, I've used this before but I don't know if I said that my sweet friend Tessa let me have this after my um, <laughs> near disaster with the one that my father-in-law let us have so this is exciting good stuff good good stuff okay first things first we need one cup of natural almond butter I have not used almond butter or even tried almond butter uh, smells like, smells like peanut butter, but less, less like peanut buttery, um, <laughs> creamy almond butter. We don't want chunky almond butter, which they do make. Um, it was really hard to find at my grocery store, actually. Um, I know Walmart carries almond butter out the wazoo. They carry all sorts of butter. Um, the local Piggly Wiggly does not. They had two different kinds of almond butter. They had this one, which was the only jar that they had, and then they had another one that was crunchy and had a layer of like oil on it that was like that thick. It's like, no thanks, I'll take this. Um, and this little 12 ounce jar was $8. So these uh, cookies had darn better be delicious for what I paid for this almond butter. All right, now, it does have a paste-like consistency, so we're just gonna spoon it into our measuring cup because I can't very well get it out of there. So, all right, close enough. <laughs> it was a very weird consistency. It's not like creamy, but it's not really like dry I don't know it kind of looks like the filling out of like you know those like like Reese cups or like but not like the Reese cups you can get at the store it's like the Reese cups that like you know church women sell that they make themselves with this super kind of thick kind of creamy kind of gross imitation <laughs> peanut butter cup. Um, yeah, that's what this feels like, so off to a great start, I guess. Next on our to-do list of ingredients, <laughs> wasn't sure I was going with that, is um, two-thirds 
cup of confectioner's swerve. I was really excited when I um, replenished on my, oh, that almost fell over. When I replenished on my stock of um, granulated swerve, they had a sale of a confectioner's swerve and granulated swerve. And I've seen a few recipes that call for the um, confectioner's um, sugar substitute, which I was pretty pumped about now that I have it. So I'm gonna try it. So two thirds cup. We also need two tablespoons of peanut butter powder. I have not worked with this before. I've seen it, um, and supposedly you can substitute it for anything that requires peanut butter. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna figure out how it goes, I guess. So two tablespoons of this. I made a little mess. I need two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Basically what we're doing is just using one bowl to dump everything into and then we're gonna combine it. There's no separation of wet ingredients, dry ingredients, all that fun stuff. Now, now we need two tablespoons of water. One tablespoon of melted salted butter. I didn't have salted butter, so I just melted a tablespoon of butter and then um, threw some salt in there. <laughs> Don't know if it'll work, but hey, I'm trying, all right? All right. Okay. We need two large eggs. Just so happen I only had two left in the carton. So that's what I brought. See, I have three egg yolks, and that one came out of one egg. That's never happened to me before. That's supposed to be good luck, right? Yeah, good luck. Okay, so two large eggs, or in my case, a large egg and a double yoked egg. <laughs> and then um, one and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. One teaspoon of baking soda. And now, we combine everything. Oh, oh no. <laughs> why, God, why? All right, so that is the batter. It was pretty thick, but not as thick as I anticipated it being. Um, it said, it said roll, okay? Like we're gonna roll our cookies out. And um, this is not like dough rolling consistency. It didn't say anything about like letting it rest or anything, it just said, roll. So we're probably just going to spoon these cookies out. <laughs> okay, so now we need to add a quarter cup of, it said dark chocolate. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate because that's what I have. Deal with it. I guess I should say these are unsweetened and sugar-free. Semi sweet, yeah, sugar free, semi sweet chocolate chips. I'm just gonna fold those in. Yeah, I don't know where they think that we're gonna roll this dough out. This is not thick enough, or not dry enough, I guess, to roll out.
right, so just tried a little bit of the batter. And um, I'm not gonna lie to you, because I believe in transparency, and um, it's a little salty. <laughs> and it's not because I salted the butter, because I only just put like a little doop in. I really think that it's because of the peanut butter powder and the almond butter. Wow, that is very, it's not bad. Maybe it'll taste different when it cooks. I don't know, it's, it's not bad, it's just, it's salty. I don't know how to describe it otherwise. I don't know. Baking sheet. Silicone baking mat. Mother. Son of a... Ah. I always... Gosh darn it. I give up for today. I do. I really, really do. I'm just gonna scoop about that much out and plop it down on our baking sheet. Yeah, because it said you want balls, dough balls. I don't know how we're supposed to get, roll that into balls when it's super liquidy. All right, so these are our cookies. Don't really know how they're gonna bake, but we're gonna put them in our 350 degree oven for eight to 11 minutes. Gonna check them after, it said eight minutes, but I know that it's gonna take longer than that because these are not <laughs> what they were supposed to look like. But you know, I could be surprised. All right, we're gonna bake them for eight to 11 minutes, check them after eight minutes, see how we're doing. Um, and when they're cooked completely, we're gonna take them out and put them on a cooling rack. And um, I will, <laughs> Post the results on my Instagram, Brady Bakes by Sheena, and um, I'll let you know how they were. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me through all of my ups and downs. I really appreciate it, and I, that's why I love to do this. I just love that I can be myself and be, you know, just like I said, transparent about everything. You know, like I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to gain nothing to lose from not being honest and um you know i just appreciate your continued support and um you know just encouragement of everything that i'm doing um but yeah i just love you thanks <laughs>